In the words of my favorite Irishman, oh, uh, if you can guess this quote, good for you. <laughs> well, to be honest, after years of smoking and drinking, you do sometimes look at yourself and think, you know, just sometimes, in between the first cigarette with coffee in the morning to the 400th glass of corner shop piss at 3 a.m., you do sometimes look at yourself and think, this is fantastic. I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Name Hi, that quote. Whiskey and barbecue. Go ahead, do it again. <laughs> Are you uh, living experience from what he just said there? This is Evan, it's Ryan, Ryan Doug, it's chaos. It's been a long day. Never stops. Ever. Ever. Which is pretty brilliant. <laughs> you don't know chaos, but you experience chaos. Many people ask, what's he's like off the camera? It's like yes. he tones it down for the <laughs> for camera. For the camera. <laughs> just so we don't have to put a not suitable for work on there. Or Evan have to edit, like, everything. There's There's been a couple of videos that I was waiting for Evan just to, like, cut the right side of the video off. <laughs> and we just have, like, this awkward pause every once in a while. <clears throat> you thought about it before, haven't you? You don't even know. <laughs> All right, so Napogue. Napogi. Synagogue. That too. Okay. Definitely synagogue. Definitely. Except for, you know, like, synagogue and most Irish are Catholic. Unless you speak whatever. Irish. Well, what? Hey. <sighs> I like Irish whiskeys. Oh, we do too. So well, it's the chef in Muppets. <laughs> no, dude, he's he's Swedish. I was about to say he's Swedish. He can still like Irish whiskeys. And so it's Swedish borka, like borka, 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 borka. <laughs> <laughs> that speaker. By the way, I still can't, <laughs> still can't get over the uh, Muppet burlesque. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting. I knew it was going to come Guys, back. if you haven't followed the, the last video, just Google Muppet Burlesque and hit images, and I've just changed your world. At least Not your view for the of better. Jim Henson. Not for the better. God, I hope he didn't green light that or right. his estate. Let's get into... Uh, Napogi? Yeah. Napogi? Yeah. So Jim Henson's children We're have still... a series on Netflix called Word Party. Yeah. It's animated. Ooh, I'm gonna check that out. I know that because dad. And he knows Beaker because dad. Dad. We, we listen to we watch Word Party. Muppets too. has been around since the 70s. You I should understand know that, just that from... but he's been out of childhood for like 25 years. He probably doesn't watch the Muppets too much. Yeah. I mean, he barely knows Fight Club. I did see his Netflix, though, and all the continue watching for Ryan's. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love this. I'm gonna Everything this to here. do with animated vehicles. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Uh uh. Oh. <laughs> Every cooking show. Oh. <laughs> every cooking show on oh my Netflix. God. Continue watching for Ryan. That's Jamie and Jimmy, food versus Who food. The, hell? the yeah. mind of a chef. Chef's table. The final table. This one's like cooking. It's just the show. Cooking. Netflix original. Good God. And then you wonder why we say it's the Ryan show. That's all right. I went down to the recommended for him. 98% match. Brene Brown. Really? Mm, good stuff. What? Mm. Really? Oh, yeah, she's amazing. You know Brene Brown? No. Yeah, she's from Houston. You'd love her. I don't like most people from Houston. Yeah, I was going to say, up. that's, yeah. that's uh, <laughs> not normally how that goes. Let's get into some whiskey. We're having a tough time here. <laughs> so we've got Napoke. Hi. All right. <laughs> Napoke Castle. So this, is, this specific one is a special barrel release. It's the Texas Barrel Select. Where'd you get this from? Um, That's a good question. <laughs> Twin Liquors, uh, Wimberley. Okay. Yeah. Um, The one, like, by my place? So it's probably yeah. around. You can probably search for it and find it. Yeah, I can probably find it. Price point, plus minus? Uh, I want to say about 30 to 40. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, So Nepo Castle is a single malt Irish. It's a 12-year. It's kind of rare to find Irishes that actually have age statements on. Normally you see it pretty exclusively to red breast. 12 to 15. Breasts. Apparently. Breast disease. Way to go. Apparently when I talk about red breast and age and... Legal's it, like, nope. Yeah. Band yeah. Band yeah. So, red... Skynet is boobies. Online. Breast. <laughs> 12, 15, 18... 24 I, and 32. Evan, you're gonna have to edit this part out, but I just keep thinking, yeah, red... 
You ever have, you know, you ever just crack open a bottle of <laughs> with your boys? I'm so, I am, I'm going to pay for a bottle out of my own pocket just for that episode. Oh my God. And I'm going to let you enjoy editing that. It's right up there. You're welcome. Cracking a cold one and <laughs> watching some Schindler's here's, List. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. We can actually talk about this whiskey. We're going to unleash him, and we're not going to let it out on the YouTube except to... Those? Those. Those. Does okay. that make sense? Yes. Okay. Those, you mean like... You, you hung out with one of those today, right? Yes. Okay, so those. Those. Him. For those. Unedited. Those love him. Oh my god. And they want like Wait, who? Yep. What? Them. Huh? Like, mm. Mm. I'm gonna have to edit that out, aren't I? You are, mm. yes. You have to edit. Mm. <laughs> 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 well anyway. What I'm getting with this isn't isn't as sweet. Wait, so am I unleashed or am I not? No, no. not right now. Not right oh, now. Okay. No. okay. Uh, Whenever leash. we have the Red Breast 12. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Don't go unleash or else I will scratch your arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Irishes. It's Irishes. If we if if I don't feed him Irishes, he stays somewhat manageable. Yes. Well, probably not the word you were looking for, but it it's works. What we're gonna go with? Yes. <laughs> Tamed. No. Nope. Again, not it either. All right. So. Okay. <laughs> Napoge Castle. Napoge. Twelve year. The taste single of it, malt. Not as sweet as a couple that we've recently done. It's because it sits in barrels for twelve years. Okay. Yeah. So. It doesn't really have too many sharp edges, but it's not as smooth as, say, the Kokori that we did mm. uh, several weeks back. Yeah. Oh, God. But to be fair, nothing's as smooth as Kokori. Well, so briefly on the Kokori, Different Nathan, mm. he got a bottle, and he was... Dikinga? Yes. Mm. Yeah, my boy! <laughs> he messaged one me. of those. He messaged, yeah, he's one of those, too. Oh. Nathan messaged me about it. He's like, hey, I'm getting this and this and this and this. I'm like, I didn't get hardly any of that stuff. And he's like... Uh, and I sent him pictures of the bottle. He's like, oh, I got batch three. You have batch four. I'm like, apparently the batches are real different. Really? It's rice and yeah. water. I mean, anything. Apparently the possible. batches are real, real different. He said he got oak, lots of alcohol smell, still the same kind of fruit. He's like, it was, it was good. It was weird, but it wasn't like this magical thing y'all were talking about. It might have been like an off batch. I would be okay to do that one again. Yeah. Different batch. I'm all on board for that. Uh, total wine north. Fine, done. Okay. All right, back to Napoke. Okay. So Texas selects. Welcome back. Explain. I. The Texas barrel select. Why is it Texas? It's probably barrel just a barrel select? pick for twin liquors. So they like say, specifically for twin liquors. We want to put this in a Sotol barrel. We should do that. By the way, have you had Sotol? No, I haven't. My yeah, grandparents brought some over, but did. I haven't. Your grandparents hook us up. Didn't they hook us up with the... Uh, yep. Mm. Now, those people are... The other what? <laughs> <laughs> the celebrity. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> How do you even forget that? Yeah. It's the one bottle I that's the most life. dangerous well, to touch. The library. You were doing this, it was like, what? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Right? Napoke Castle. Doesn't suck. That's true. Doesn't <laughs> suck. I, it's not going to make my list of favorite anything. It's uh, certainly... Here, here's what I would say about Napoke Castle. If you have a scotch drinker that you want to try to cr start pushing Irish, give them Napoke. It, it's not It's not smoked like Kanmara. It's not something like that. But it has like these Irish-ish... No, it has the eh, it is a Scotch-ish, Irish-ish kind of flavors going through it yeah, without could, being smoked. Yeah. yeah, I'd say like shadows of Scotch, like a Scotchman yeah. walks past and his shadow like like comes a Scotsman across. walks into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tuesday. That's true. That is true. <laughs> I have a joke I'm going to tell, but not yet. 
<laughs> the best whiskey, that's your favorite. Stick around. The best barbecue is the way that you like it. Don't forget to share both. Cheers. Cheers. If you haven't noticed, there's stuff after the brain. Yeah, it's a Scots Irish, if you know. My wife would say that she is Scots Irish. He's had that Dude, conversation. Dude, oh my God, that explains so much. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! You weren't there when she one-handed the dog and took it. I in. was. Oh, I was there because the dog's tail was <laughs> wagging, but she just like, Rah, like, oh. She just Frankenstein's the dog. Oh, like that's this. why Ryan's truly <laughs> afraid of Michelle. <laughs> just watch her like. The dog's like, all right. Because <laughs> the dog's <laughs> used to it. The dog's like, all right, but I still got the chocolate though, and she's like, she could die. <laughs> Dude. The Scots Irish is definitely my favorite moment in American history because it, Hold it on. just. Have you gotten to your joke yet, or are you still waiting? No, we'll get there. Don't worry. Okay. About it. Okay. Yeah. But um, so I was in the first uh, college like American history thing that leads up to like the Civil War, and so they talk about like colonial America stuff like that, and the story of the scots irish is like the most american thing i ever heard because he's like okay so the scots irish is this little strip that even the romans couldn't conquer they could get above it they could get below it but this little strip they just love to fight <laughs> like, like they just love it it's part of their identity this is what they do they f up they put heads on sticks and they fight people <laughs> so eventually they get them they put them, they're like, okay, we can't deal with them. Send them to America. And this is where the American part kicks in because this is <laughs> like 200, 300 years ago. No, probably about 400 because it was pretty early on. Mm -hmm. And uh, somewhere late 1600s, early 1700s. Yeah, yeah. And so they show up, they get introduced to, you know, things like modern alcohol and gambling. Mm. And so people. Uh, at least according to the very uh, well-credited history professor, like, they hated him. They're like, why? Oh, well, uh, according to historical records, it was because all they loved doing was drinking, drinking letting their kids run everywhere, <laughs> gambling, and fighting. <laughs> so eventually they're like, what are the, I don't like these dirty immigrants <laughs> in my land, despite the fact that they're literally still freshly immigrants themselves. <laughs> like, send them to the Appalachians, where all the natives live. Huh. And people didn't realize it, but the native attacks dropped off the, f like, off the f***ing map. <laughs> because you just sent these crazed Scots-Irish hillbillies <laughs> up into the land where the natives had, and the natives, those specific tribes, loved to fight. The only people that love to fight more are the people that fought the f***ing Romans. <laughs> but they never made the connection. Like, we sent them up there. Oh, the natives stopped. Like, oh, they must be busy killing them. Meanwhile, they're over there like Woodstock 99, like burning <laughs> to the ground. Like, ah! <laughs> And that went on forever until they had to, like, kind of try and, like, tame the Appalachians because now they have a society. <laughs> and that's why to this day, you know, you get like deliverance or something you know where you're like it's their mountain <laughs> just let them be <laughs> oh my god that that makes so much sense Can you follow that i mean my wife is just like that she's this lotus flower that has this calm on the seriously, water seriously first time i met her i was like oh she seems really nice she's like really down to earth stable level and fluid and just graceful every like nothing then i saw a dog her. eat a piece of chocolate but when she opens up and blossoms you're just like oh. i could see how a marine would be like yes i have this ring on you <laughs> can you just carry that on you the barracks are awful but this is besides the point <laughs> <laughs>